Hey guys, it's Mark from Hallmark Pool Supply. Today we're going to be talking about replacing a key assembly on a 710 valve, which is a side mount valve made by Hayward. We're also going to be showing you how we replace the five spoke gasket, commonly known as a spider gasket. Now one reason we would be taking the key assembly and replacing it is for an example, if the key assembly is war and has no compression and is hard to turn. That's one way we know we need to replace it. And another reason you would be replacing the gasket along with the key assembly is if this system is running in filter and water is leaking out of the backwash, that means that the gasket is wore. This is not sealing down on the gasket tight and allowing the uh, water to leak out of the backwash while it's running in filter. That will cause your pool to lose water. So these are all signs of when we know we need to replace the key assembly along with the five spoke gasket. And then of course, once we replace it, if the spoke gasket itself is damaged or messed up, then we obviously know that we need to replace it. This is just an example of what happens with a five spoke gasket or spider gasket. If the levels of chemicals are too high in the pool, you can get this from high chlorine, you can get it from acidity, but when the rubber uh, gets like this, then it's not sealing and I'll, I'll take this apart and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so typically this valve here would be mounted into the side of a filter and would be screwed on a filter, but for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna be using this valve and we're gonna take it apart and we're gonna show you exactly how it comes apart and how we go about replacing the gasket along with the key assembly. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna get a drill and we wanna unscrew the screws making sure we don't lose any of the nuts when we do so. So now once that's the screws have been removed, we're gonna take note, you have these edges and they're rounded all the way around, but when you get to this one, it's cut straight. And that is designed so that when we go to put the valve back on after we're done, we don't rotate the valve and put it on incorrectly. We can line it up and it'll be always straight. Keep in mind, filter is always pointing to the tank. So we're gonna remove the valve and once we remove this valve, you're gonna see inside here, the five spoke gasket. This is brand new, so obviously the gasket is in good shape, but if your gasket looks rough, kind of like this one, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel and pull the old gasket out. So for an example, we would be basically taking the old gasket, we would pull it out, then we would take this gasket and discard it. And at this point, we would now have the new gasket in hand. It is very, very important. The gasket is smooth on one side and rigid on the top. So if we turn it over, you'll see the smooth side. And if we turn it back over, there's the ridge side. And the ridge side always goes up and the smooth side will always go down. And the best way to adhere and put this in is you wanna use a product made by 3M. It's actually a rubber adhesive. And you can take this and what we wanna do is get a Q-tip and you want to dab it inside after you remove the gasket and then take the gasket and you would place it on top and push it in, make sure she's good and you've got it glued really good. Now, I don't recommend putting glue on the gasket because by the time you get done handling it, trying to put it in, you'll have glue all over your fingers and it's just a mess. So it's just much easier to glue inside and then we take the gasket and once we line it up, we can push it in and then when you're done, this is what you will have. You will have a nice clean gasket and it'll be nice and tight and it's glued in. Now at this time we take our key assembly. This key assembly just like in a 714 valve can be rebuilt. We can take it apart and rebuild it. It's actually going to be a lot easier. It doesn't cost that much more to just replace the whole thing. Manufacturers have it set so that it's cheaper to, to buy it this way. It's already put together. You just put it in, line it up, put your screws in and makes for much easier replacement. This way you also have everything uh, in the valve completely new. So we don't have to worry about used parts and new parts. When we get ready to do this, there is an O-ring that is under the key assembly, just like in a 714, and that gasket needs to be put in there. If it's damaged or if it's wore, it can also be replaced. But once that's in, we can then take our key assembly, drop it down. Remember that we want to line up this notch and make sure filter is pointing to the tank. And at this time, we are now gonna be able to put our screws in. Um, when we put the screws in, just like on a 714, we wanna make sure that we put the screws in from side to side, across from one another, and then we're gonna go 
uh, and put them in all the way around and we are going to tighten them uh, or snug them up first and then we're going to tighten them evenly so we draw that in we do not want to just tighten it as we go because you may pinch the gasket in there or the o-ring and this way it will seat really good and so we know we won't have any leaks when we're done and if you'll note, when we put the screws in, if you look at the nut, it's engraved on one side and the other side is smooth. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that the engraved side is facing up. So as I put the screw in, we put this grooved side of the nut facing up. This way it helps lock down and tighten so that you don't have the nut spinning on itself. And so that's how we wanna put that in. And of course, when I go and snug it up, it'll draw in. But it, remember at this time, we just wanna snug it and we're gonna go all the way around and snug it up evenly. And then we'll be tightening them down as we go. Just remember, grooved side is always gonna be going up so it locks in on the screw. Now that I've got the screws in and I've snugged them up with the drill, we're gonna set the drill to the side and we're gonna use a screwdriver now because we don't wanna strip anything. We're gonna just come back and we're just gonna hand tighten with the screwdriver. We're gonna do this all the way around so that we draw everything in evenly and everything is gonna go in nice and tight. Okay, now that we've finished putting this together, we're done. It is very important that since we've just glued the gasket in, that we let this sit for 24 hours, leaving the system off, allowing the glue to dry, and making sure that the gasket stays adhered. If you do have to run it or would like to run it, you can do so. Just leave it in filter. Do not change positions because if you do, you're apt to pull the gasket out because remember, we just recently glued the gasket. If you do run it, leave it in filter and after 24 hours, you'll be able to change positions. For best results, leave it off for the day and then the following day, you can go back to normal operation. And that wraps it up. So hopefully you guys found this video to be helpful. If you have any questions or you need any help finding any parts, feel free to contact us. And remember, for all your pool needs, visit us at hallmarkpoolsupplies.com. Once again, my name is Mark. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you on the next video.